today we're going to be looking at the G Fest exclusive Marmot Monster Heaven Howling Godzilla. Okay, so this year at G Fest 22, Mike Johnson had commissioned Marmot to distribute, make you know another exclusive for G Fest. Uh, it's not; it wasn't exclusive to G Fest, but it was sold at G Fest in a very, very limited quantity. If you happen to get one of these at G Fest, you probably bought it from me. I was selling them in the deals room. Uh, for Mike Johnson, who was not able to make it to G-Fest this year. Um, so I was selling these. It was awesome. Let me first start off saying right, it was awesome to sell these figures in the deals room. Um, I never thought I would be working a table in the deals room. But it was only for like an hour and a half because these suckers sold like hot cakes. They sold fast. They were gone in an hour and a half. So um, the whole idea behind this figure, this one, this, is, this was the figure to buy. It is in a, a, the retrospect of the Bandai Meltdown Godzilla from the Forever series from 1996. So here, take a look at the picture. This is what the Bandai version looked like. And this was the whole the idea for this new Marmot one. And I love it. I really dig the, the you know, because now we have one from Bandai. Now we have one from Marmot. And it's really awesome. I mean, the, the figure itself, it's in uh, clear... Vinyl, it's translucent, and you have obviously your paint, reds, blacks, grays, to give it that meltdown look that Godzilla had as he was melted down at the end of Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Okay? So the figure, it's really awesome. Again, yes, it's a, another burning Godzilla, James Hartman's favorite, bam. Um, but he's, he's more of the, the closed mouth Desugoji. Um, but this one, it's beautiful. It's the Howling Godzilla, it stands about 10 inches tall. Uh, the sculpt is beautiful. Remember, this is Marmot. What do I always say about Marmot, people? They're pieces of art. You know, we I, I can't sit here and compare this to X+. Plus. You know, the two different lines. I always t I say the same thing all the time. we got different lines here doing different things. So, in retrospect of Marmot, this figure is beautiful. It's got a lot of detail to it. It's awesome. Okay? So, at G-Fest, there was only... I think I had 35 of them to sell. 35. I lost count. This is, I know, I, I think I had about 35 of them. The clear one here, now this one was very, 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 very limited. There was only four of them sold at G-Fest. Um, I have one. I bought one. Bam! I was like, hey, it's exclusive. You got to get it, okay? So, the figure, now I hope everybody got one because I have an extra one. So, if you, didn't ha if you have these figures and you don't have one, you know, I'm sorry. But this is the header card, okay? Got your basic, this is the... Uh, the non-traditional Monster Heaven header card. It says Kaiju, and over here we have Marmot information, and it says Godzilla. Okay. Now, there's one thing that was kind of a bummer about these header cards. Not a not a crucial thing, but we didn't get licensing stickers. The gold licensing stickers that have Godzilla on it to put on the header cards. So, now, what does that mean? Anything? No, it's just you know, it's still a licensed product by Marmot, who does carry the rights to make Godzilla figures. It just we didn't get the licensing sticker. Not a big deal. So, two figures, two header cards, bam. Okay? So, it's awesome. I now have, what, well, this is one exclusive, two exclusives. I guess you could say they're together. There's another another exclusive set that we're going to do a video on at another point in time. More Marmots. So, this was the figure to get from Mike Johnson's table this year. If you got one, awesome. You guys got yourself an awesome uh, Marmot figure, like I said, it, it, we're going back to 1996's Forever Series Meltdown Godzilla, and I really dig it. And the other thing, here's another thing that I like that was decided on this year's exclusive was, it's the Howling Godzilla. I don't even have a Howling Godzilla in my collection prior to this. So, instead of doing another Desugoji, which, those are just all over the place, people are scooping them up left and right, Marmot, um, is distributing them through Diamond here in the United States, so, why not change it up, mix it up a bit. Let's use the Howling Godzilla, because this it, the Howling Godzilla, because he's got his mouth open, that's why he's howling, and why it's named the Howling, you know, it's also the Burning Godzilla that was distributed, uh, I actually forget when the original Howling Godzilla came out, probably 2005 or six. I, I had to do my homework on that one, but, you know, so that's why it was decided, let's do an open mouth, instead of, la like, last year's closed mouth. There's no need to have you know, um, the same thing over and over again. 
Not that it would have been the same, it's just this is the different mold and everything. Something else I want to point out is that if you look at the figure here, it has um, the center row of dorsal plates are smaller compared to the dorsal plates on the outsides. Big deal? No, it's just something we noticed. You know, a little point of detail, but the figure's beautiful. I love the translucent to it. You put it in front of the light, a lot of colors are popping. Reds, pinks, blacks, grays, whites, clear, bam. And again, this one is all clear, all clear vinyl. Mm. Okay, before we close out, because uh, we're about to wrap this up, just want to say something. Anybody that has clear vinyl figures, crystals, clears, translucents, whatever, crystal clear, keep them out of sunlight. What's going to happen if you have them in sunlight? They're going to get tainted yellow and it's going to look ugly. What is that going to look like? Ugly. And then we don't want to ruin our freshness like that. So keep it out of sunlight, okay? So this one stays indoors. I took it outside for some pictures before, but, you know, very limited time. Okay? So these were the Howling Godzillas that were exclusive at G-Fest. Limited quantities. If you got one, awesome. Bam! Fresh! Okay? You got to get them. So... That's all I got to say about these two. One other quick point of information I want to share with you guys. I got a new table. It's not so wobbly anymore. I don't want to wobble it because isn't that great? Isn't that no more wobbly table? It's got, a, it's got a bigger base and everything. It's great. You guys don't really care. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, bye-bye and fresh.